Well, yes, the churros, we had churros at Disney. That's where I first found out what a churro was, and Emma loves them. So that's a good recipe. Um, what I was saying earlier, oh, the escape ladder. Uh, we'll have to get one for you know, the, <laughs> the university apartment, I guess. <laughs> um, practicing being able to pay for two places before university. Um, before, I guess, for a Christmas present or something, because I got this one for Christmas one year before, because we have a two-story house here. Um, it's important to me. But, um, uh, what I was saying about not having pagans in my home, it, uh, from everything I've studied, uh, well, I mean, we're supposed to. Peg I always thought pagan was illegal, the same way I thought Nazi was illegal. Maybe I'm only looking at the United States. Uh, just dark, it's the devil, it's it's worship of the devil, it's uh, rerunning and worship of uh, dead people. And I'm sure there are people who would call themselves pagan who are doing something different, but of course every word has a million meanings. And uh, bra bragging that you're one thing or another, um, you have to go by the most, the most common meaning and the meaning through time. And I understood what these things were before I got here, so having a new uh, uh, cosmopolitan meaning that's more, um, that may be perceived as more appropriate among a large group of people who are coming together at one time, uh, where you can assume sometimes that not everybody has any idea of what these things are, uh, and perhaps try to change their um, understanding of it and acceptance. Well, that's not okay if somebody knows what it is. But uh, because of my spirituality, and because I'm up at God, and um, as the Bible says, uh, Jesus says a child is in front of God all the time, my father, so it puts anyone who's around a child or doing something to a child in front of God and automatically judged. But because I'm up at God, especially um, so uh, diligently uh, since the revelation, since since I've been up here during the re revelation, um, it makes everybody have to be of God to some degree in front of me. Uh, Sometimes the people who are of God with me um, don't necessarily fall into as many people who are around me, but uh, as God has sort of said, he protect you from your enemies the best he can in whichever situations. And perhaps sometimes your groupings and your family groupings end up with people if they're awake. So, But if you're somewhere with pagans, sometimes you're going to inflict the children of God and the people of God upon the pagan. So they might not look pagan, they might not act pagan, there might be nothing um, that appears to be pagan about them, except that, you know, I mean, that person is someone I knew already. And um, God rest their souls. Uh, I'm waiting for the, the paper to be put out that, uh, you know, you know, the living will, the rest in peace will, that says I, I'm not to be done that way by pagan. And so if my child, you know, oh, well, um, if you're Christian, well, Jesus was Jewish, so <laughs> he was taken to the temple to, uh, with the elders when he was 12, uh, without his mom and his dad to keep an eye on him, and they were not. I mean, I'm sorry, everything I've read and everything I've heard in heaven and uh, perceived from God said that they didn't do that properly. And um, it was just too much for him as a 12-year-old, and not everybody there was uh, the same as in any, any grouping. Uh, exactly doing what they were supposed to do for God. I mean, you have the you know the prophets, false prophets, or meaning meaning well prophets, or then you have the Republican prophets, and oh, it's just, it just goes on and on and on. But um, there was no reason that my daughter, who is in heaven with me, would be around pagans, and there was no way to explain these things in a society that just accepts these things. But you know, for, if removing her from me uh, so that she would be around pagans is, is supposed to uh, do something for them, so they can harness the light of God from her because she is younger than me, and I was thirty-seven before I started having to fight them, and uh, I nearly died in that fight. The, the battle of what they bring at you—they're bringing they're like Death Eaters. They're bringing watch the Harry Potter movies, and perceive witches as what witches are, which isn't good. It's just degrees of you know, like Glinda, the good witch of the North. She's still a witch. So she's a little bit more socialized and perhaps holding some of the evil off, but it's a witch who's used to working with witches. So um, if they're going to inundate her or you know try and catch at her god because she, she isn't as uh, used to fighting and doesn't have a team the same way because most of them have been killed off by you people, um, how is she going to protect that? And what sense of darkness are they going to put upon her and bring upon her and this is where the purple keeps coming from and I'm sorry but she foretold that this was going to be done to her and the people who come at her now who I know to be pagans will be blamed 
because purple is the uh, symbol used in these times, at least in the Ottawa region, for children who are being forced into suicide and forced into despair and depression. And um, that is pagans coming at their religious, because children are born to God. Before they're old enough to protect themselves or understand to protect themselves, sometimes before their parents understand or have understood or have found a need to understand, because they weren't up, but, but during this battle, she was brought down from God. And I am watching.